What's up, everybody? I got a special request um, someone wanted me to do. They wanted me to show them how to export inside of Logic Pro X on the MPC Renaissance. So I decided, you know what, let me show this guy how to do this. So check it out. First thing first, what you want to do is you want to, of course, you want to have your MPC Renaissance software. You want to have some, you know, something in there. So I got a drum pattern in here. And what you want to do is you want to basically pick an output for each track. So for the kick, I have three and four. This is the clap, I have five and six. And for the hi hat, I have seven and eight. Close that up. You press X on your keyboard if it's, you know, that's the way mine set up is X. Or you can go to View to get to the mixer. If you need to open the mixer. So I got mine set up for X. And what you'll notice is if you come to MPC to the VST, you have I'm gonna close mine. You have a plus symbol and a minus symbol. What you want to do is you want to click the plus symbol till you see all nine of your input of your outputs. And um basically you see that it's set up like that. So if I press the MPC, you should see the volume inside of the mixer inside of Logic. All right, so that's set up perfectly. So what you want to do is you want to right click on MPC which is this this is the instrument you want to right click on a blank space right here you want to create a empty MIDI region okay so once you have that created you want to come over here to export and you want to go all tracks as audio which is command shift E click that once the next thing you're going to do is you're going to create a folder so I'm going to go MPC Logic. Let's create a blank folder. The next thing you want to do is you want to come over here to multi multi outputs software instrument. You want to click that. You want to go one file per channel, channel strip. You click that and then you just hit save and you got to do its thing. All right, so that's done. So next thing you do is you want to go to your finder, and here's the tracks right here. I go to desktop. I go to that folder. I have each one of the tracks right here, and there you go. Simple as that. If I had any other instruments that had sound on them like you know how to track something on each one of these tracks then I can also export that as well inside of that folder I just exported alright that's it